Hi, my name is Victoria Rose. It's good to meet ya. This is my last time here in the shed. Before we get into me leaving Pennsylvania, I wanted to show you how our thrift store repurposed outfits turned out. Welcome to day two of of a segment of high fashionista Victoria Rose. Um, went to the Amish store, got some new vitamins. It has lion's mane in it as well, which I already had today, so. I know guys, I know, I have a problem. I, I've developed a problem. I think I need an intervention. We have a lot of work to do because there is a time constraint now. I have to leave here. And I haven't even told you guys where I'm leaving to or anything. I'm always leaving somewhere. But I'm gonna finish the skirt and then we're gonna move on to the next outfit. Let's do this. I'm gonna work on the second outfit, which I have not showed you yet. This one's gonna be more of an elegant type of thing. I'm gonna try to pull off a shirt that's gonna be silky material. And then we also <laughs> grabbed this. This is like a set that had like underwear and socks with it. I wanna kind of sew this kind of together so it's a kind of a dress. So with this, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna cut out this part. So this is kind of just like an under Fit bust thing. I might have these out for sale because I can't take all these with me. So if you guys actually want to buy, I'm mostly excited about the first outfit. If you guys want to buy these, my sister I think is going to put them up on Etsy and we're going to split. recognize me with this beautiful white huge shirt on? <laughs> Bob's always been very good at expressing her. You better her. not be taking pictures of me. I'll take pictures of you. Take pictures of myself. Are you angry? Are you taking pictures of me? <laughs> <laughs> That's for her personal diary. No. For her. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just a chuckler right now. I, know. I think it's that that mush those mushrooms. <laughs> I want to go in and then go out. I want to have a waist in one of these outfits. <laughs> I don't like that look. Really? No, because nice. that's for other people though. Do your magic! I'm gonna make chalk. Give me a pink chalk. Alright, this one turned out a lot different than I expected it to. <laughs> and the staple piece. <laughs> Just for the coronavirus times. Just for. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Voila! As you can see, we are very proud of this one. So, this is outfit number one. If you guys want to buy this, I might uh, put the link below where you can get it because. But I'm in two minds about it because I really like it and I don't really want to sell it, but I think I might need to. Leave a comment below if you guys like this one. And this is outfit number two. Um, we cut the sleeves and then we um, sewed and then tied them with ribbons that we got from the corset, which I took the corset top off and then just did that. And then this corset come, came with these socks. So if we do sell this, the socks will not come with it, which I admit we just did um, some stuff in the grass. So if there's any stains or anything on it, I'm sorry. <laughs> So that's this one. What do you guys think? Rate, which one do you like the best? Okay, I'm gonna try and try in the last one. We didn't have time to actually modify this one, but we still wanted to do it because it's kind of like a Horizon Zero Dawn look. So even if you didn't want to wear the corset, it still like could be a size medium and just a little bit elastic -y right here. All right, so outfit number three. We didn't, okay, so we did cut this shirt up, but otherwise everything is kind of, and then I tied this to make a belt for this. Um, we got these gloves, this, 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 all this jewelry. And my boots. Let's go. We're on a mission. I don't know how to start this. <laughs> all right, let's go. We're out of here. North Invaders are attacking on this, the semi. This one. The semi. <laughs> I, I heard about some um, some finds near the the treacherous treach pass. <laughs> 
There's the dinosaurs! Let's go! Alright, we gotta, we gotta go murder these. These are the uh, bad ones. Let's go! Go, go, go! Um, go follow her YouTube. Her YouTube and also her Etsy is going to be down below. If there's, if we put any outfits up to sell, they'll be down below. And make sure you rate which one you like the best. One, two, or three. It is probably like five something in the morning. I have to catch a train to New York. And I packed up everything. I have my suitcase, that bag, and then I'm going to ship that box out. And that's pretty much all I have. I like to move around because it helps me be a minimalist in a way. I have to get rid of so much stuff every single time. I accumulate stuff. Well, actually, to be fair, I've been here half a year. So I didn't really explain anything before this, but uh, I've been, I ha we haven't gotten an apartment yet. I have a cr very crazy plan and I can't tell you guys all the details it involves. It's not New York. Um, I have to go somewhere. Well, I'm going to New York for a bit for just a little, for a few days. And then I'm going off to do that destination because I have something to take care to of travel there. and it's not for travel or touristy stuff. So it's gonna be complicated and weird. So I want to take you guys on that journey if you're willing to come. But I have a little plan, so we're gonna do it. And you guys aren't gonna understand why or what I'm doing. I barely understand it. But I hope that you guys come with me. Uh, for right now, we're gonna board a train and I'm tracking, it's like an 11 hour train ride to New York. And I'm not looking forward to it because we have to wear masks the whole time and I might suffocate. So let's go board a train to New York and say an official goodbye to Pennsylvania. It's been real. It's been a lot of things and it's been what I needed. And I'm very grateful and I'm terrified. <laughs> It's so, it's all so weird, uh, but this is it. This is the adventure, so. I won't go to the gym for a while. I won't do this in. What is life? I decided to get a train from Erie, Pennsylvania to New York City, New York, to go to my best friend and take as much luggage as I could there because on a train it's a lot cheaper to take luggage than if you were to fly. An Amtrak train from Erie to New York is around 10 hours. The only big difference in traveling during Corona is that you have to wear a mask the entire time you're on the train. And there's also a bit more social distancing so I could have two seats to myself, which I really liked. We've done train travel multiple times on this channel. I think a big pro of train travel is that it is a more scenic route, even though it's longer. They have a cabin for food, which is obviously always overpriced. Another pro of train travel is that there's not security checks and as much hassle, and it's also cheaper. This train was about $65. I always bring a bunch of protein bars whenever I travel so I don't have to actually buy too much food. A lot of travel is just the little details and logistical aspects of things. So once you get used to that, you can kind of just go anywhere and do anything. And it is a bit more difficult during Corona to travel and explore. And I'm not really trying to do that right now, but we're still going on this adventure together. I am in New York now, such a breeze, just kidding. So I wanted to say what happened after I got off Amtrak. I then needed to go on another train, which I got lost. I always do this, <laughs> trying to find the path station and I um, had to walk around with my suitcases. It's so heavy, like for 
20, 30 minutes because I kept going in a circle. <laughs> Just so bad at directions. But anyway, so I got there. I'm like, yay, cool. I did it finally. I finally got there. And then I was going to put all my stuff in Denise's car because she picked me up from the one station. And there was taxi drivers behind us. And I'm trying to hurry and put all my luggage in, which was a lot. And I'm like, where's my phone? I was trying to find my phone in there. And then behind us, these assholes started like beeping at all of them. Then they all started beeping. And I was just like, Shh. I'm so overwhelmed at this point because I had a very long day. And I was just like, where's my phone? I was so flustered. And then I'm like, I was probably in here somewhere. I'm just like, let's just go, let's just go. So I jump into the front seat and we drive off. Everyone's cursing each other out. It's New York. This is how people interact. It's, I was tired, overwhelmed, exhausted, and flustered and defended. <laughs> so then I'm like, I got, get back to Denai's place and I'm like, where is my phone? I was looking everywhere for it. She called it. I'm like, I've never lost my phone. I've never dropped it before and couldn't find it. And then finally this girl picks up and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, someone found it. Cause it must, it must have fallen out whatever as the, with the whole taxi driver situation. So we drive back and this angel of a girl, I'm so grateful for her. She hands me my phone and it's screens completely cracked everything just destroyed camera completely broken this camera doesn't even work anymore for some reason um so someone either threw it down or someone i think it got drugged the taxi drivers i think ran it over probably all of them because where she found it was way further up the road than where i dropped it i've had this phone for years and it's completely destroyed and I was just kind of in shock because I'm like, this is, I was thinking about them. I don't have a lot of security in life. This is the one thing that I've had with me for years since Los Angeles even. But then I realized this is the last step in me creating a new life from everything that's happened the past few years. This is the last piece. Like I got a new passport. I just, everything is new now. So I had to get a new phone. Fortunately, I had just paid this phone off. So I just put another payment plan on for another phone. More of the story is it was really an overwhelming day, but I think that everything, you know, things are meant to happen. Like you guys don't even know how much I rely on my phone. It's bad. I'm moving forward. Things are, things are going to be good. I'm in New York now. What's happening next is confused. It's going to be confusing to you guys. And we'll just get there when we get there. Okay. For the next video. Thank you for coming back to New York with me. I know this is repetitive, like keep going back and forth. I wasn't going back and forth. The whole point was to take the train was I could bring my luggage and then I have one more box to ship here and then all my stuff will be here, which isn't a lot of stuff. And then I will move here. So I'm completely moved out of Pennsylvania. And for now I'm staying in a small room in my best friend's apartment, but this is not permanent. So I have to go somewhere else because I can't, you know, bombard their space right now. It's a very small apartment. So um, I have to find somewhere else to live until we can find an apartment. And I have an idea. So stay tuned for everything. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Okay. <laughs> Bye.